we started working on a multiplayer action game and we decided we wanted to do something where people could play together, you know, and so be social and also uh, make a game that could be accessible to more than just like hardcore gamers, like, you know, a game that like I could play with my family or, or friends who would just come over and just would be fun, something you could pick up real quick and play, but then also have the depth to keep you interested if you were like, you know, a core gamer, you know, for a while. So that's how we came up with the, the gameplay mechanics. It's actually, from my perspective, it's a little bit more similar to a, to a, like a, a game like multiplayer Halo than it is to uh, a, a traditional party game because uh, we set it up with that the idea of game types and, and then maps. So we've got a bunch of different maps, a bunch of different game types. You can play any of the game types on any of the maps or there's lots of different ways to play it. What we wanted to avoid was having like a whole bunch of one-off content where only a small slice of it was you know really good and what we're hoping to end up with is a, a, uh, a bunch of game rules and then a bunch of game environments and when you mix and match the two it's always fun because we focus on that core mechanic and really tried to make it good you know it takes place in the in the animal kingdom in the world of you know animals and uh, the, the lion has been ousted you know he got caught eating at a vegetarian restaurant that just that just did not fly. So he's gone, and so the animals are having elections to pick a new leader, and uh, their elections are all about collecting clams. So that you run around, and all the game types are based on this idea of collecting clams and doing stuff with them. Um, and then the whole game is hosted by uh, sort of our animal version of CNN, which we call GRR, Grr, you know? And it's hosted by Woodchuck Chumley, who's our news anchor, which, which is uh, kind of cool because I think for the first time we've we're creating a party game that actually has a backstory and a world and you know you don't have to sit through cutscenes or anything but it's all presented in a way where you know we take the metaphor of elections and politics and use it you know to satirical effect and have humor that works on a bunch of levels you know it's, it's kind of funny to run around and you know see these animals beating the junk out of each other but then we also have you know like when you're watching the news, a little ticker crawler on the bottom with funny news stories. So there's there's something for everyone in there. My personal favorite game setup. Um, but we got a game type called Fundraiser, which I think is pretty cool. And the, the idea there is it's like a race. You, you run a circuit around the map, and you're uh, running to the fat cats who have like, the cash, and you're collecting co campaign contributions. So it's basically got to be the first person to to collect a million bucks towards your campaign. Um, so it's uh, I think. I think it's pretty cool because it's a lot of fun and uh, it's got, you know, part of that political metaphor. It worked in there and it's a lot of fun. It works on all the maps, so it's uh, it's pretty cool. Lots of different ways to play it. Which of the candidates do you usually play with? Um, I like them all. They all have different strengths. Like the armadillo is really fast, which is cool. And then uh, Ptolemy the hippo is he's not as fast, but he's real strong. And then Toshiro the octopus is kind of like the enigma because he, uh, he can do all the special stuff, like his team-ups. Um, are all really interesting because he can fly and things like that. That's that's one of the big parts of the games. It's not just like a beat em up. There's we have this idea of these team ups where at any point any two players can join forces for like a 15 second super move, and they're all unique for the different pairings of animals. So it's just like in real world politics, like the enemy of of your enemy is your friend. And yeah, right. And you know, at one moment you might be uh, best buddies teaming up, and then a moment later, you know, stabbing each other in the back. So, uh, yeah, it is sort of like real politics that way. Okay, so when will we be playing Hail to the Shemp? Uh, beginning of 2008, first quarter. Looking forward to it. Thank you very much for your time.